As the volume of both structured and unstructured data continues to explode, many organizations struggle to make true real-time decisions. My vision for the research work that we began was to completely re-engineer the way that healthcare and particularly clinicians in neonatology were supported by technology. To have real-time solutions that were able to support and potentially predict the onset of conditions. There are sometimes up to 16 streams of information that are being watched by the nursing staff, by the residents, by the neonatologists, all at different frequencies of their own interaction with the baby. So I could see that there were enormous opportunities to capture and store and utilise this data in real time and for data mining to improve the quality of care for neonatal babies. Unfortunately, a vast majority of widely used analytic tools not only require data to be at rest in a database, but are also constrained in their ability to run powerful analytics and complex correlations between numerous structured and unstructured data types, like numeric, alphanumeric, audio, video, EKG, etc. The way that we're addressing this challenge within neonatology is to create an integrated environment using IBM's InfoSphere Streams, DB2 and SolidDB. So the integrated environment that we've now created enables us to capture data from the devices that are currently in the neonatal intensive care unit. So that that InfoSphere Streams environment can generate the alerts that we need and more importantly for us within a medical context is that it persistently stores the data so that we have that for that individual patient for later on, but we also have it for clinical research. InfoSphere Streams provides a highly scalable runtime environment that enables continuous, powerful, and extremely fast analytics on massive volumes of structured and unstructured data in motion to deliver rapid trusted insights that drastically improve and expedite decision making. It can run on Linux and easily integrate with SOA infrastructure. We needed a solution where we could interface to their clinical systems and interface to other environments that we need in a range of differing formats. The service-oriented architecture approach provides us with that vehicle to draw the information from a disparate range of formats and provide it to us in the format that we need for the environment that we've created. This environment of being able to analyse the streams in real time is providing us with the real opportunities for much earlier proactive intervention in the prediction of onset of illness. This environment has enormous potential to change lives and to change working practices.